When you're a kid, you're just so much more open to possibility. Who do I see myself? <laughs> yeah, you find inspiration in really strange, small, mundane places. I think there was always something pushing me in the direction of I want to play make-believe and I want to tell stories in some capacity. But before I kind of honed in on what that was and what it looked like, I wanted to try everything. I was making home movies with my cousins and friends for since we were probably seven or eight years old. When I look at them now, I realize that there was there was always music, there was always choreography. I was always kind of setting up the camera, pressing record, and then also running out to kind of be a part of the action and bossing my cousins around. When I was just out of college, I was still doing some acting stuff, but all the roles that I was auditioning for as a 22-year-old were like Tom's girlfriend and like, you know, I'd be like making out with someone or getting murdered, you know, those were like the two options. I started working at a website that produced original content every every week. I worked as an art director for them and production designer and that's kind of, that was my foray into sort of like the grind and like really being on a professional set. That was sort of how I got on to producing and then, you know, went freelance and started doing that, doing that on my own. It's, it's really hard to kind of get someone to, um, to start to see you as a different thing. from being an actor to saying, oh, I write and I can produce, um, and having people take you seriously. That was a difficult transition, and then once people started referring me as a producer, knowing I could do that, for me to then be like, actually, I ultimately wanted to direct, so I'm only doing that thing now. It's, it's a tough jump. I just like set myself a date, and I was like, okay, after this point, even if I need the money, I just need to you know, say, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that anymore. But I remember specifically being asked to produce a music video for Yoko Ono. And I got the call and I was like immediately like so psyched. And then I like look at the date on the calendar and I was like, really, I can't say yes. I can't like, I can't say yes to, yeah, I said no to Yoko. There's no straight path. You just have to take time to like honor that part of yourself that sees the world in different ways because it's the only way to bring an interesting perspective to your work. 